DP, today is May 1st, and you know what that means. DP News starts now. International Day is tomorrow. Tons of food booths are going to be set up all around the Greek representing different cultures across the world. And in the second half of the extended lunch period, the teachers will be performing the teacher air bands that you won't want to miss. Mary Poppins will be running tonight at 7 and will also be continuing on Friday at 7 and Saturday at 2 and 7. These are the last showings, so buy your tickets at dpnews.org or the box office before they sell out. Today, there is a mandatory meeting for anyone who is running for sophomore, junior, or senior class office in P2 at lunch. Bring your filled out petitions and oaths to the meeting. If you haven't noticed the massive posters and tables set up outside the athletics office, then seniors, you should go stop by because that is the place where you can buy your tickets for prom. Prom tickets are available through April 28th through May 9th. There is also information over there about the upcoming senior activities that you are not going to want to miss. After prom tickets are also being sold in the Greek at lunch for $20, and the sooner you buy, the more prizes you can get into your possession. After prom will be held at the UCSB Hub, where there will be games, prizes, and entertainment from 12 a.m. to 4.30 a.m., and they will not let anyone in after 1.30 a.m. If you would like to give a speech at graduation, make sure you go see Ms. Rehage and talk to her on more information on how to do so. Tomorrow is the SBCC math assessment for the stats or calculus test for the upcoming school year. The test takes place in the cafeteria at 2 p.m., so bring a pencil, your K number, and your school ID. Clubs meeting today are AP Studies Club, Science Clubs, Astronomy Club, Special Olympics, Avid Club, Social Equality Club, Band Club, Surf Club, Bilingual Guitar Club, Triathlon Club, Dream Team, Twister Club, Ideas Club, Tutoring Club, JSA, Women of Color Club, Letterman's Club, Yearbook, Mesa Club, you Are Not Alone Club, Nail Club, and Youth for Direct Relief Club. Well, DP, that's all the news today. I'm Dallas. And I'm Kira. Here's Peach and Nate with the sports. Good morning, guys. I'm Peach. And I'm Nate. Let's get into your sports report. Today, track and field goes against San Marcos here at home. The meet starts at 2.45, so be out there so to support. I know I will. Oh, hey, Addy. What you doing? I'm stretching my arms to throw against DP's great Stomatius Scarbells today. Uh, that's funny, because I think I'm running the 32, and I'm going to beat the amazing Addy's runner. Oh, that is funny. Hey, Chargers. Charge up to the track at 3 p.m. today to watch us take on San Marcos Royals. Last home meet, last meet for the seniors. Be there. Volleyball has a game today down in Simi Valley at 6 p.m. Tomorrow, Swim and Dive has a meet at Santa Barbara at 2 p.m. Baseball is going up against San Marcos at 3.15, and softball at San Marcos at 3.15 as well. Yesterday in boys' tennis, the Chargers battled a very long contest, which lasted well over three hours, playing with gusty winds and playing in heat over 80 degrees. In singles, Patrick Corpus gave us a lone set, 6 and 0, but lost two very tight sets. In doubles, we took 7 of 9 sets. Mason Cassidy and Joshua Wang now go 47 and 1, along with Andrew Tufankian and Miles Baldwin sweeping their 6 sets. Greg Steigerwald and Alex Yang lost two very tight sets, one of which went nearly 90 minutes long and the other almost an hour. The Channel League tournament hosted by the Chargers begins Monday at 2.30, so come out and support your boys. Well, that's all the news that we have for you today. I'm Nate. I'm Peach. Have, have an, an awesome, awesome day, day, DP. DP. <laughs>